Last week we visited Krakow and we did our very first episode of the Taproom Safari. And now that we're in Copenhagen, it's time for episode number two. Hard time finding the place we're going to. It should be here, but it isn't. It should be exactly here. Hello, Maybe it's downstairs oh, or in the alley. What's that on the other side of the street? Hmm. Not very easy to find, but we think it's down here. Hey! Since last week we've been thinking and we think we should establish some ground rules for how a taproom safari is done. So we figured for each city that we do a taproom safari in, we have to visit at least three different taprooms. And at each place we order three different beers. One Imperial Stout, one Sour and one IPA. And we always let the bartender choose which IPA, which Imperial Stout and which Sour we should try. And in case there are no like Sour, the bartender will choose an alternative. The grading will be on a scale from 0 to 5. And each place will also get a grade for the venue in itself, the atmosphere. And also one grade for the staff. Do you remember all of this then? I think so. Let's go. at a place called Pedos. And these are the three beers that we're gonna try here. They offer them in many different sizes, but we choose the smallest one since we're gonna do two more places after this. This is exactly what I'm looking for in an Imperial Stat. Oh, it's like drinking candy. It is! It's like drinking candy! <laughs> really, really nice. Bone chocolate and a little licorice. Oh, it's so good. I will rate this very high. 4.7. I'm gonna say 4.2. It's a really nice imperial stout. Okay, so the second one is a sour and it looks like a smoothie. It's nice! I'm not that into sours, but it's not sour. It's different. Yes. It's different. And there's some bubbles in it. It's fizzy. That's one thing that's really different about it. It's really fizzy and it's more of a milkshake sour. I'm gonna rate this at 3.8. It's a good one. And I would give it a 3.5 because I enjoy a little bit of it, but not full beer, I think. Last one. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty standard IPA, actually. It's not that special. It's not bad. Definitely not bad, but it's not great either. So, I'm gonna say this is right in the middle of the scale for me, so 2.5. Yeah, it's not a wow. It's a, um, it is a 2.5. So we are gonna enjoy these small beers before moving on to the next place. We're off to a great start. That was a really nice place. A really nice place. So if I should grade the atmosphere and the venue, I would say it's a 4.2. For me, it's a 4. A solid 4. Very nice place. And the bartender was really nice, so I would say it's a 4 as well. I will give him a 4.2. 
now we're moving on to the next place. One thing that we really liked is the fact that we get this. They give you a printout of what you want. Let's start with the stats. Bitter. You can taste the coffee. I can really smell the coffee. I can really taste the coffee as well. There's a little bit of licorice in it. I think it's as if you were eating the coffee beans raw. Yeah, right. I would read this one with a sweet. I would say it's a free point free. Very citrusy. And at the same time there's a lot of bubble in it. The scent is like a cellar. If you go down to your grandmother's cellar and pick up apples for the apple cake. Is that a good thing? Yeah, kind of. It, the bartender said it was fermented, and you can taste the fermented fruit in it. Not really my cup of tea. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Yeah, it, it might be because we just had a sip of the Imperial Stout, but it's, it just collided. It's like the apple juice you forgot in the garden. And you have forgotten it for like 25 years. I would give this a, a 2. I'm going to say 1.9. Last but not least, the IPA. Interesting. That's a very great fruit to eat. But the taste, to me, it was pure honey. There's more scent to it than taste to it. But I think the scent and the taste are quite different. Yeah, I agree, I agree, because there are no taste. See, I would drink it on a spring day when you are starting to long for summer, like today. I'm going to give it 2.6. To me, it's a 2.5. And already now we can see the impact of the rules that we made up. Because we let the bartender choose these three and he was really clear about this was his preferences. You never know what you get to see on the safari. The tap has us a nice place. If we start with grading the staff, I will give him a, um, a 2.7. I believe he was knowledged in all the 61 taps, but he didn't really quite gave us the information about the beer. Not bad. It was nice, friendly, but nothing out of the ordinary. So I'm going to say 2.5. The place itself, it was kind of big, but not so very cozy. I will give it a 2.7. Now that I think about it, I'm going to compare it to McDonald's. It's the McDonald's of tap houses. It's a modern place, it's okay, it's big, but very uninteresting. 1.9. Tables. I really like the safari feeling. First that, 
an imperial stud, but it's an imperial stud with ten caramel. I <laughs> kind of wish for more. I can't find a copy of it. Me neither. It is not a copy of the giant top house. It's a good stud. But it's not, no, I expected something sweet. Me too. Still, I liked it. So I will give it a 2.8. 2.9. It's a bit like the Lambe one we tried at the other place. But this one has a little bit more red berries too. It's a little bit sweeter, which is better. The scent is uh, fermented. So I'm going to say this one is a 2.7. 2.5. It's the last one. <laughs> I think this is a really nice idea. It's got a perfect amount of flavor. It's not that thin, but very healthy as can be. So this is a fun point to eat. Well balanced, a lot of flavors, and the scent is smooth, passion fruit. It's a really nice idea. Mmm, really like it. 3.3. That's the last tap room of this. Tap room safari episode. It was crowded, it was loud, a lot of tourists, not that very cozy. I give it a 2.5. So I'm gonna say it's a 2.2. I didn't have any interaction whatsoever with the bartender. I have to say 2.5. I liked her. I will give her a 3.5. tap rooms because they are all within walking distance. We will put the links to their web pages in the description. If you have visited any of the tap rooms, we would love to hear your opinion of them. And if you have other favorite tap rooms you would like to recommend, drop us a line. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.